Chris Warren Frieder. I'm a junior biomedical engineer at Arizona State University at the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering. I'm one of the leaders of 33 Buckets. We're a startup company that revolves around distributing clean water to third world countries and communities through a three-pronged solution that involves filtration systems, business distribution, and education on water sanitation and hygiene. And we're going to solve the world's greatest standing crisis. 1.8 billion people lack access to clean water. That's one in four people globally. 8 million people die annually due to water-related disease. By the end of this presentation, 122 people will have died because of this. This all makes water and water-related disease the number one global crisis that faces the world today. And this is the bad news. The good news is that we can solve this using today's technology. And that's what we're here to do. 33 Buckets started out in the fall of 2011 as a school project dedicated to building an arsenic filter to filter out the arsenic contamination in a community in Bangladesh's water. We conducted our assessment trip in the next summer, and what we quickly realized was that our technology wasn't needed in the community. In fact, the technology already existed not too far away from the community in a nearby city. What we did realize was that the problem was in distribution and education. People weren't able to get the clean water from the clean water sources, and people weren't educated on how to keep the clean water clean. As you can see in this image, the girl is drinking water from her hands, which is very unsanitary. Three years later, we implemented our first initiative at Bahir Chahar, Bangladesh, in a small school with 900 girls. We established a filtration system by contracting it from a local area. We set up a micro-franchise business to distribute the water, and we educated the community members on water sanitation and hygiene. The micro-franchise business was originally to serve 900 girls at the school but it boomed in the next year and served 12,400 people in the community. Recently, we've implemented this model in Peru and in the Dominican Republic, and we're planning to launch our initiatives this summer. In the Dominican Republic, we're working with a community that relies on cave water for sustenance. It sends small children into a small crevice in a cave to retrieve buckets of clean water because their existing water source has 200 times the acceptable level of E. coli in it. We're also working with a community in Peru that has a similar predicament with lots of bacterial contamination. We partnered with a local government organization called Autoridad Nacional de Agua that wants to fund us to do a large-scale initiative in the future. Our idea is simple. We are clean water consultants that work with communities to develop a solution to their clean water issue. And our solution is threefold. It starts with a filtration system. We build a custom filtration system for the community based on the specific contaminants in their water. Then, we work with local entrepreneurs to set up a micro-franchise business to distribute the water. We utilize the profit motive as a means of motivation to get the entrepreneurs to spread the water as far as possible to as many people as possible. Our last step is education. We educate the community on water sanitation and hygiene so that they're truly invested in the project and want to take helm of it long after we're gone. The solution plays, plays out in three phases. It starts out with assessment. We conduct water testing and determine the specific contaminants in the water. We do a market analysis on the village and the community, and we determine exactly what the existing infrastructure is, and we evaluate awareness so we know exactly what the community does and does not know about water sanitation and hygiene. The next step is design. We design a filtration system utilizing our 33 Buckets toolbox and take parts from our toolbox to build a modular system that best fits with the community. We also create a business model with entrepreneurs so that we can best distribute the water. Lastly, we form a water advisory committee from community leaders, religious leaders, and government officials so that they can oversee the project and ensure quality control after we're gone. Lastly, we launch the initiative. We travel to the community, install our custom system, filtration system, and housing unit. We launch the water business, watch it run, and implement our quality control system where we have them send us financial spreadsheets and maintenance checklists every month overseen by the Water Advisory Committee. And we also hold water sanitation seminars. So we teach the community how to properly maintain the sanitation of the water so that they can keep the water clean and ensure that problems don't arise after we're gone. 33 Buckets understands that one size doesn't fit all. When we look at our competitors, namely Jibu and Drinkwell, these are two companies that assess and 
combat the water issue using a micro franchise business model. But what they don't understand is that each community needs a custom solution and education as well to truly combat the issue. Without a custom solution and education, there's many problems that go unfought when you're actually dealing with the issue. Currently, we've spent our $7,500 prize of the Pecos Social Entrepreneurship Prize on our assessment trip in Cusco, water tests in both of our communities in Peru and in the Dominican Republic, as well as some on fundraising and on website development. But there's still a lot more to be spent in the next year. We have to spend a total of $32,150 on the capital cost for launching our initiative in Peru and in the Dominican Republic, as well as evaluating five new sites in areas nearby. We need the, the $20,000 prize to fund our $32,000 that we need to spend for the next project. Once we get that prize, we will be able to get our foot in the door with local governments. If we can get our foot in the door with local governments, then we can show them how our project and our solution works out. We can self-fund our first project and have them see the results of the community project that we start. Once they see the results and the clean water that's been distributed to thousands over the next year, they'll want to fund us and establish a large-scale initiative. Specifically, the community, the government organization in Peru, Autoridad Nacional de Agua, wants to do just that. They want to fund us to do a large-scale initiative upon successful completion of the project. But that begs the question, how do we maintain this money and grow it in the future? It starts with our three revenue streams for our com company. The first and most important is government funding. The government funds us for the project and also pays us a consulting fee for our time. We also have projects funded by NGO partners that do service in the area, as well as donations. Then we invest our time and effort into the community, and the community's water initiative is paid for by water sales of the business. The business sells water, and then the profits of the water sales go towards salaries for the entrepreneurs, the water advisory board, as well as filter maintenance. In the next year, we're going to have two installments in Peru and in the Dominican Republic. And by the end of the summer, we will be giving 1,470 people clean water for a lifetime. At this point, we're getting our foot in the door. By year four, we expect to be completely self-sustaining, and we'll have 49 installments in South America and in Central America. We'll be giving 37,000 people clean water for a lifetime, and we'll be completely self-sustaining off the government's budget. By year 10, we'll have nearly 700 installments and be giving more than half a million people clean water for a lifetime. This is the period where we're really growing and tackling the water problem in South and Central America. Our team is composed of Mark Huerta, the project lead, me, Swaran Trether, in charge of global partnerships, Paul Strong, our technical officer, and Veed Mitrovic, our sustainability officer. Collectively, we have skills in human-centered design, education, social entrepreneurship, leadership, technical knowledge, sustainability, and marketing. Collectively, we have all the skills to make for a successful enterprise. But what we really have that's most important is the commitment and the passion to make this dream a reality. By the end of the summer, we are going to give 1,470 people clean water for a lifetime. And in the next 10 years, over half a million people clean water for a lifetime. Just $15 can keep a person out of the clinic, living a normal and healthy life, and able to pursue their dreams. When we see these statistics, we are horrified. One in four people lack safe water. One in five child deaths is due to unclean water, and waterborne disease is the world's leading killer. Obviously, we know that these are huge problems, but what we understand is that these can be solved today with existing technology. We just need a little push. We have the potential to embark upon a global initiative to end the leading cause of death in the world. Will you help us? Thank you.